Hello puzzle lovers, welcome to my channel. It's the Puzzle Addict. Today I have a variety, like a set of four, STEM puzzles. So STEM, uh, science and technology and all that stuff. Um, it says it's family friendly, so to me that means that uh, fun for the whole family, probably not too difficult, but you never know. I was never good at math and whatnot, so let's dive in. So this one here is supposed to represent science. This one is technology. This one is engineering. And the final one is math. Ooh, math. All right, so I guess we should start with the science one. So we'll put these away. Okay, so first we have this little science project here. Now, my excuse, my hands are full of paint. I've been painting, tried to get most of it off, but there's still some black bits. Hope it doesn't get off onto the puzzle. So we have this cone, this rocket that has to be taken out of the container. There's a little bit of air around it. It doesn't fit perfectly, uh, but it is flush where the cone starts at the top. And basically without uh, touching the container, keeping it on the table, we have to get this little guy outside. So. Uh, my immediate thought is just to put this in my mouth and suction cup it out. <sighs> yep, it worked. I'm not showing you my face, but uh, suffice it to say that uh, it went in my mouth. <laughs> uh, but I have a feeling that is not the solution they're looking for. Um, another thing I know that would work is just putting water into it. There are some crevices here and you just fill it up and it would go out. But this is called a rocket. So I'm thinking it's got to be a lot more dramatic in nature. Um, so if I were to start, it never said anything about on the on the description about it being flat, but I have a feeling it's supposed to be flat. But if it's not, I mean, you could roll it and eventually it would do that. But again, I'm, I'm touching it. So no, that's not gonna work. Um, but I suppose I could start that way and just, I don't know, bang it. No, that's, that's not gonna work. So, what would you do, guys? What is your first feeling about this one? Because um, other than the suction and the, oh, this one here, the gravity, so throwing it up in the air, see? Um, oh, I'm touching it, can't do that, sorry. Uh, what would you do? Hmm. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna pass on this one for now. Let's move on to uh, technology. So we have a cube, we've seen these before. They have snake cubes, we have Rubik's cubes, but this apparently has to be um, pulled out into a robot looking configuration and then put back. I don't know how that's technology, but... <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, look at that. Look at that, eh? Look at that. We have a little transformer. Da da da. da is that his belly button in here? Da 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 da. Ooh, oh yes, uh huh. Okay. Da 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 da. Da da da. da. Oh, we got a little foot. Oh, look at that. He's playing soccer. Woohoo. He's dancing. I, I guess he has to be put flat. All right. Oh, is that what, oh, okay, this goes to the side. Uh, maybe, I don't know, I think it looks good as a foot. There we go. How about these arms should be maybe facing to the side? Oh, you can put all sorts of little, oh, he's got little rockets that come out. Is that what he's supposed to look like? I, I imagine so. Maybe these go down. Hands on hips. All right, I like that. Well, that wasn't too complicated. It can't be, I think, let me just look at the picture. Okay, that is correct. That is what the guy is supposed to look like, pretty much so. So we just gotta put him back. That doesn't seem like a big challenge. Let's put his head in like that, and let's put that in like that. We know those were there. And I guess these were like this. And 
this was like that maybe. Uh, I think we solved it, you guys. Pretty easy. Goodbye, technology. Okay, let's move over to engineering. So in this puzzle here, we have two ball bearings with a plexiglass sheet and a divider here, uh, some stands and places for the ball bearings. And the goal with this is to make it such that the ball bearings are in each of these two holes. Okay. So you move one down, they both go down. You move one down this way, they both go this way. So that's pretty obvious. Can't see what's going on there. You can rock it. Yeah. Ah, oh, you guys, this is easy. This is just centrifugal force, isn't it? Oops. Yeah, we've solved the puzzle, you guys. Very simple case of spinning. Okay, let's move on to the math one. Ugh. All right, so this one is a case of, I don't know if you can see this, but you probably can't actually. Let me, let me move this in a bit closer. Take away that light, perhaps. All right, it's a bit darker now. Okay, so this is very hard to see. I can't see through my viewfinder, but each of these is numbered from one to four. So one, two, three, four. And of course you add all those numbers up together and you get 10. So we want a four by four set of squares that all add up to 10. So let's, that can't be that hard, can it? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's four. That's four, one, one, two, three, two, and three. Okay, so obviously that's not gonna work. So my first idea for this is simply to do this. All right, so we take one down, put it there. And then this we do two times, one, two. And then we take this and put it there, right? And then this one goes all the way to here and we move that there. So how does that work? It should be one of each. Ah, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, three, four, one, two. And does it work? Does it have to be diagonal too, I wonder? What's the instructions? Okay, that is not going to work because I think it also has to be diagonal. Crap. All right, guys, what would you do? Okay, let's put these back in their original position. The thing is, I don't think lining them up one, two, three, four is gonna work anymore. This is, uh, this is a little trickier than I thought. Okay, four, three, two, one, we do it this way. Four, three, two, one. Infinite possibilities here, aren't there? have to have them completely jumbled, I think. Um, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside for now. Let's move back to this thing. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Okay, so aerodynamics for this one. Basically, the vacuum that's created from blowing will just release and blast this literally outside, hence the rocket name. That was what gave it away. It was the rocket. I knew it has to, had to come out in force. So nice little hint there. Goodbye, science puzzle. Back to this nightmare. Oh, math.
Oh no, that's not working there, is it? Okay. Three, four. Three, one, four, uh, two. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, I think I'm there, you guys. Um, four, three, one, two, four, two. Okay, let's try this. Four, three, one, two, one, two, three. Yep, okay, uh, this seems to be working. I think there's probably more than one solution. And to be honest, I did this just randomly. Uh, I don't know if this puzzle, in fact, is this easy to do if I just lucked out by placing these like this. My instinct was to go one, two, three, four, or four, three, two, one, but that didn't work. So I just tried this and fiddled around and it did work. So I think that might've been a bit of luck because numbers are not my forte, but it works. Um, if you know of any other solutions, to this, uh, let me know because this is this is uh, new to me. So there you go, you guys. That was the um, STEM puzzle set from Professor Puzzle. I will link it below. Hope you enjoyed uh, the video. This one to me was the best. This was kind of gimmicky. wasn't Was kind of this be really fun for kids, I think. This once you know it, you know it. Yeah, this was definitely the best. I enjoyed this one once I got the solution. Pretty cool. All right, puzzle addict. Signing out. Oh, bonus guys, check this out. A magnetic spinner. Amaze your friends, perform gravity-defying stunts. Let's try it.